So these are examples of uh, various types of addressing modes that can be encoded in mode RM byte. Um, and uh, of course, uh, this is a long uh, set of uh, possibilities right here with some um, notes uh, on the side. However, um, uh, this should not look uh, too messy because there's always documentation that comes with each specific instruction. And when you want to understand what the actual encoding of that instruction is, uh, you should always start with an official Intel uh, instruction reference manual. And this will be part of our exercise. So in part of our exercise, we'll have more chances to um, uh, practice with these uh, encodings of various uh, sources and destination uh, destinations uh, that could be encoded in this mode RN byte. For now, it's just a general overview of uh, parts of encoded instruction, and uh, we will practice with specific examples now later. So, next uh, part of the instruction which we can have uh, is this uh, what's called the scale index byte. The scale index byte uh, simplifies the work uh, with arrays when coding in assembly. For example, I can have uh, memory. Uh, let me um, bring a little bit more space uh, here. And uh, so there's a possibility that I have memory. And uh, in this memory, I, I would like to store integers. So memory, of course, is just a sequence of addressable bytes. So if I want to store integers in memory, they will look like this. They will look like units of four bytes. Each integer is a uh, four byte size. And so this is how my array of integers looks like in memory. Uh, if, for example, this is some, some low memory. So this is the base address of this array. And then each uh, individual um, integer has address uh, of, 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 of its own um, in this block of memory uh, allocated by this array of integers. So in this integer I can store value 5, in this integer I can store value 0, and in this integer I can store value 122. Okay, something like this. So you realize that uh, to store these numbers in, as integers we need 4 bytes of memory. So let's say that my array, right, so my array has name, array, I give it a name of some sort. And so this name of an array uh, points uh, to, it contains, uh, as you know from the C programming language, it contains the address of the first element. So this is array, uh, base uh, array address. And then I want to use uh, for example, register such as EAX or any other register, EAX, and initialize it equal zero and be able to use, as, use it as index, right, using the square brackets, as index to access these integers in memory. I already have the base. I'd like to combine this base address with, uh, with uh, offset into this array and be able to address all of them. Address this element, address element, and so forth. So how can you do this in, in assembly? If you want to have index values as 0, 1, 2, 3, basically natural sequence, right, natural sequence, then you, if you're incrementing EAX, and combine, combine it with uh, the base address, you will be incrementing by one byte because memory is byte addressable. So what we need to do is we have to multiply, right? We have to multiply this by the size of the integer. We have to multiply it by four. That's because integer has four bytes. So then index zero multiplied by four gives us zero and we get access to the first element. If EAX increments and we have one, one multiplied by four is array plus four, which will give us access to the next element. 
then EAX becomes 2, 2 times 4 is 8, and we will be therefore accessing the next element, and so forth. Okay, so this technique of multiplying simple index into an array is called scaled indexing, and to support scale indexing exactly like this, assembler uh, will uh, create the scale index byte, right? And it's the structure of scale index byte. And these are the representations of possible scaling. Uh, scale by 1, by 2, by 4, and by 8. These are the sizes of array elements supported uh, by scaled index byte uh, when, we, um, uh, when we have to deal with this. Again, concrete examples of scale index uh, addressing mode uh, will be visible when we, uh, tr when we look at uh, specific examples of instructions using this type of addressing mode. But this is, in general, how much variety you can expect from scaling um, indexed uh, access to your uh, memory arrays. So you can combine any register 32 size with this type of a combination like plus EAX multiply by one of these things, 1, 2, 4, and, or, or 8. Um, and every time we use N, it's, it's one, of, one of these uh, sca scaling levels or scaling coefficients. And uh, so these are the combinations of what we can have uh, with different modes. And scale index byte is also combined with mode range RM byte. Uh, which specifies the source and destination, and uh, one of the destinations or the sources will be using the scale index byte. Of course, the scale index byte works only when the operand is in memory. You see that every time uh, we use uh, uh, these uh, uh, types of uh, uh, operands, they're enclosed in square brackets, which means that uh, the, the result of this computation will be an address in memory to which we're going to go and extract the, uh, the value or update the value at that location. So it's always an um, idea about indexing is, of course, uh, indexing of uh, array in computer memory.